Now when Raila Odinga jetted out of the country to Abuja, Nigeria recently for a specific function which he had already been invited as the African Union High Representative on Infrastructure and Development, Raila Odinga went ahead to submit an application to a continental body in the African Union or in the AU requesting to be part of the leaders who will observe the elections that will be conducted in Nigeria very, very soon. But yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, the African Union Election Observation Commission Board issued a very, very shocking uh, response to Ray Odinga, whereby it rejected Ray Odinga's application, but instead appointed the former head of state, Uhuru Muyekinyata, somebody who had not even applied to be appointed in that position. It also went ahead further to appoint Uhuru Kenyatta to become now the chairman and to lead other 90 appointed leaders across the African countries to, to observe the elections that will be conducted in Nigeria. So in this video today, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to give you the possible reasons as to why the African Union Election Observation Commission rejected Ray Odinga and preferred Uhuru Wege Kenyatta. But just before that, just in case you are here for the first time or maybe you are currently watching this video and you haven't subscribed, I'm just requesting you to kindly support me by subscribing and also please don't forget to press the notification bell so that each and every time I upload a video here, YouTube will automatically send you the notification. You can also give this video a like or just press the thumbs up button down below so that YouTube can recommend this entire platform to reach out to others so that we can grow together. Otherwise, to my returning subscribers, to my loyal viewers and to my supporters, I also want to take this opportunity to appreciate you so much for your continued support. So feel very much welcome on this channel, ladies and gentlemen, and I don't take your support for granted. So in my considered opinion, the reason as to why the African Union Election Observation Commission rejected Ray Odinga, it is because of number one, Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta's position, or Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta's position as the regional peace envoy of the entire Sub-Saharan Africa, a position which he was appointed by the uh, the President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency, William Samuel Ruto. You know, I personally believe that Uhuru Kenyatta, because of this position, he has solved several disputes, several uh, issues across the, that has been affecting uh, African countries, like, for example, the Tigray issue in Ethiopia. And right now, as we speak, the Tigray issues have already been solved and they are very peaceful right now. And also, Raila Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta has been actively participating in, uh, in, in, in a meeting uh, trying to solve the issues in the DRC. And I know, and I know that Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta will solve that, that, that issue. So because of that position, whereby Uhuru Kenyatta is leading a peaceful mission across the countries, that is how they ended up appointing him. So because they thought that maybe Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta is well suited to lead or to be or to be one of the leaders who will observe the elections that will be conducted in Nigeria very very soon, and also I personally believe that maybe it is because of Uhuru Mwege Kenyatta's influence to other African leaders by leading uh, this regional peace envoy. You know he has been engaging with different uh, big leaders. You know big wigs. Uh, several uh, presidents across the African countries. So because of that, projecting himself in a good way he, as a leader, you know, that is how he was well fit to take over that position. Also, number two, ladies and gentlemen, I personally believe that the reason as to why they rejected Ray Odinga, it is because of Ray Odinga's uh, recent demonstrations across the country. You know, elections are over. People are continuing with their duly activities so that they can achieve their, you know, they can afford a meal on the table. But Ray Odinga holding several demonstrations across the country, trying to uh, to reject William Samuel Ruto, you know, denouncing William Samuel Ruto's presidency publicly, it's actually portrays him as a bad leader, but not as a national leader. You know, as a national leader, you must move on for the interest of the people of the Republic of Kenya to initiate development projects, to support William Samuel Ruto in another way around becoming an active opposition leader. You know, carrying out all this demonstration and talking badly about the president does not project William Ray Odinga's name 
uh, very well across the country. So because of that, maybe they saw a certain skill in railroading, which is very, very bad, and it cannot lead the to become the observation or one of the observers of the election that will be conducted in Nigeria. That, ladies and gentlemen, I personally believe that also Raila Odinga messed up totally recently in Nigeria during his function by exposing the IEBC. What Raila Odinga was talking about in that event, he was only talking about exposing how elections was, was conducted very poorly or what, on how the 2022 general election was conducted here in Kenya very, very poorly. The, the reason as to why I'm saying this is because there are some certain things which you should not expose your country for worldwide. Like, for example, how your country is poor on how your country is doing this, this. Do not expose your negativity so much across worldwide. That is very, very, that portrays a very, very bad picture. And also when, when it came out clean to realize that what Ray Lodinga was talking about in that event, about uh, election were, become, were conducted in Kenya, was complete lies. You know, first of all, Ray Lodinga was talking about the IEBC majority of people here in Kenya, or 99, 90, around a certain percentage, around 90%, do not be, have, uh, do not believe in the IEBC. And also he talked about the independent institution, the judiciary, on how it uh, upholded the jury, the final jurisdiction by upholding President William Samuel Ruto swing. And he exposed several issues there. You know, that's not a good picture. It paints you not a good picture because all, are, all what he was talking about, there's no proof. The independent institution that are being mandated constitutionally to carry out the elections here in Kenya have already uh, submitted their final ruling. Therefore, you must move on as a leader to do something else, do not stick on one area and exposing others very badly. So they did not feel safe if Raila Odinga will observe the election that will be conducted in Nigeria. So he may end up also exposing how Nigerians conduct their election and they are on, on, on their negativity side. And also, ladies and gentlemen, I personally believe that it is because of Raila Odinga's bad historical uh, elections, you know, Raila Odinga has never ever won any of the presidential election. So because of that, how is it related to the African Union Election Commission rejecting his request? It is because of Raila Odinga has never ever accepted any election outcome. You know, how can he become one of the observers if maybe he will have to support one of the, the contestants or the people will contest in Nigeria, yet he does not believe, he does not uh, accept the final uh, election outcome. You know, that alone, ladies and gentlemen, cannot make you to be appointed because of your bad CV, previous CV. That is why the Laudinga uh, <clears throat> was not appointed uh, to become the African Union Election Observation Commission. Uh, to observe the election in Nigeria. So I don't know what you think, ladies and gentlemen. That was my analysis for today. Otherwise, I don't have much to add on. Thank you so much for watching this video and welcome back once again. Thank you so much for supporting me in one way or another. Please support me by subscribing and also see you in my next video. Thank you so much, guys.